Okay, I've got a C harmonica in my hand today. We're gonna to take three distinct riffs on bent notes and we're gonna do so in areas where it counts the most. So these would be areas where beginning a riff on these bends comes up a lot and is a challenge for a lot of people. So consider this an intermediate level task at hand here. We're gonna start with the two hole and focus on the two full step bend so on a C harmonica, just make sure you're getting, you're producing this note first. And this, this is going to be a riff. Each riff will be comprised, just to give you kind of a heads up, mostly of draw notes because we're in cross harp, which is, means that we're going to more commonly focus on these draw notes. So two full step bend. I'll put this in the video description. Two draw, three draw half step bend, two draw, two full step bend, two draw. It's very similar, reminiscent to uh, Miss You by Sugar Blue. Let's move on to the three. So now if you're thinking, hey, that was fast and I couldn't get that, you need to just rewind, take your time. And make sure you can land on each note cleanly. Now on the three draw, we're gonna take the half step bend. Let's play that riff. I threw in a blow note, said I wouldn't throw in many, but there is one here. So three draw half step bend to four blow. Big challenge here is hitting the three draw half step out of the gates for the first note and then the third note is the four draw bent. So you gotta be able to go right to the note. To four draw after that. Back down three draw half step to two draw. All right, final riff today. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but I feel like, it, again, if you just rewind tape, go back, take your time, and go through each little riff at your speed, you will get there. Well, yeah. Four bend to four draw. To five draw to four draw. After that, four draw, so we got four bend, four draw, five draw, four draw. And then we gotta bend the four back down a half. And then four blow. Three draw, half step to four blow. Nice um, response to this riff, if you're thinking call and response, would just be to replace the four blow the second time with the two draw. All right, so we got three distinct riffs. Let's just slow down and think about this for a minute. I'm gonna point this out again. I think I mentioned it at the beginning, but I think it's worth mentioning again. All the riffs begin on a bent note and they're focused around holes two, three, and four. The areas where we can extract the most mileage uh, with regards to the bent notes available and sort of where we can head to initially in second position for a good cross harp or second position riff. Um, <clears throat> if you're beginning your, your idea is mainly on a draw note and bending down. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just want to point out that you would get more mileage from a bluesier perspective. You get more bluesiness out of this sort of bend and lift. Going right to the bend lends itself to being more bluesier than somebody that's bringing in just draw. Now that's really bluesy too, depending on what you do with it. 
But you should be able to do both, let's say. That would be the best way to think about this. Just be able to do both. Be able to get from the draw note down to the bend accurately at the, whatever bend that might be and then be able to go right to these bend notes and try to lift them to or move potentially to another hole. So this ties in a lesson that I offer called the bent note blues wrist. If you like this kind of stuff and you want a further study, um, it's on sale. You can check out that item in the video description. It's just several blues wrists beginning on bent notes where I go much slower than I went here and I just let you follow me slowly and then I play them at speed and then we hear them to music so you can kind of get this sense for how I would use it in context. This is a good concept to practice um, and I would just remind you to switch key harmonicas. When you work in one key, you're kind of getting good at bending potentially at one range of a harmonica, this C. You want to throw in an A, a G, you want to maybe throw in an E or an E flat harmonica, something that creates a little more challenge for you. Like here's, here's an E I just happen to have. on your harmonicas quick lesson today but it's an important one so just take your time work through these riffs bring them back this is kind of uh, an extension of just like ear training um, when I did learn this one riff but in this case I wanted to focus primarily on these bent notes and get get you thinking about going to these notes as the beginning note choice that's what I got today. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. The weekend is finally here. Enjoy it, and I will see you soon.